In this video, we will learn about opening files in R. R has a support for handling files outside the R environment. That is, we can open and write and read files outside the R environment also. R can read and write various file formats like CSV, XML, JSON, etc. To read CSV file, we write read.csv and inside the brackets, we write the name of that file. To write a CSV file, we use write.csv and inside the bracket, we write the file name and the value. Similarly, we have packages and libraries to read and write other file formats also. Now we'll practically see some of these functions. To open a file in R, you must have the file in the same directory as you are running currently. Now we will try to open a file named toyota.csv that is this file is of type csv. csv basically means a comma separated value file. We will open this file using the read.csv function and we will store these values inside data1. As you can see in the files folder we have toyota.csv file. So we will not have any problem in opening this. After this, we will print the values inside the data1. First, we will execute this line. Then, we will print the values inside this data1. So, these are the values inside this data1. These are not all the values. Some values have been skipped. That is, the maximum values it can print is 100. So, it has omitted the next 1336 values. Now, we will try to see whether this is a data frame or not. This is a data frame as we are using this function print is data frame and we have applied this on data1 that is our this value. So this will return true or false. If it is a data frame it will return true otherwise it will return false. After that we will try to see the number of columns in data1. For this we will use the function and call and the data1 data frame. So the number of columns are 10. As we can see from here also, the number of columns must be 10, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. So it has 10 columns and the number of rows can be seen using n row function. So it has 1436 rows. After this we will try to see the maximum value of kilometer variable. For this we will use max function applied on the variable. So the maximum value inside this is 2,43,000. Now we will try to get all the data related to the maximum value of kilometer. That is now we will fetch the complete row inside which the kilometer has maximum value. To do this we will use a subset function. The data will be from data1 and the condition is where kilometer is equal to maximum of kilometer. This subset will be stored inside this frame. To run this, we will get the maximum details and now we will print the maximum details. So where kilometer is 2,43,000, all the values are like this. After that, we will write these values, the maximum detail value in a CSV file using the write.csv method. To use this method, first we need to write write.csv and inside this we will write the value and then the file name that we want our file to have. So we will create a file output.csv. Now when we execute this statement, you will see that a new file appears in this. Now we will run this line and now we will have a file known as output.csv. This is the file output.csv created at the same time as the current time. So after this, we will try to print the value of our file output.csv using these two lines. And as you can see, the values of the maximum details and the file are same. So we can say that we have written successfully using the write.csv file. This is all we will do with file handling in R. Thank you.